Let's discuss those issues then. Uh, Philip Tell from our International Affairs Desk joins me. Philip, then why have these measures only come in now and what do they actually mean then for people wanting to travel to the UK? Well, basically, if you want to go to the UK, as we were just hearing in that report, you'll have to self-isolate. The big problem is that uh, uh, reports leaked from the government say it's going to be very difficult for these measures to be actually policed correctly. And that uh, once people come into the UK, they're being told to uh, take their own vehicle if they can. But that's going to be difficult for people visiting if they're tourists to go to a place where they can self-isolate. There will be checks there, as you were hearing, a thousand pounds if you're uh, found to be breaking the rules. But uh, it looks as though those checks are going to be very hard, I was saying, to implement. And uh, one report in the Daily Telegraph today saying there would only be fines for people who wrote down really fictive answers on their forms, such as their name is Mickey Mouse or they live in Buckingham Palace. All other people probably get away with writing down whatever they like and they can't verify that those uh, uh, pieces of information are correct. So that's going to be difficult. This also may lead to queues uh, in ports in the UK because there are not enough police to uh, uh, make sure that people have filled out these forms they have to fill out before they can come into the UK. So from today, it looks, let's say, not to be very easy to implement. And as well as the split along party lines in the UK, there's also a huge split within the Conservative Party itself. And uh, Theresa May, the former Prime Minister, has said she doesn't think these are, are very good uh, measures to be introduced now. Uh, they were talked about the first time on the 23rd of May. Many people saying, well, why is it taken from the 23rd of May uh, to the 8th of June to introduce these measures, where you had planes flying into the UK from places like Wuhan, people able to walk off those planes into the UK, maybe bringing uh, the virus with them, and no measures were taken. Isn't this a little bit too late now? So I think the government is a little bit embarrassed by all of this. But what they have to do is to show that they are leading the country. And uh, there is a view that these measures are going to be reviewed every three weeks. Uh, the government can't show it's being weak, so it had to introduce them today. But maybe in three weeks' time, it will uh, reduce them a lot or maybe do away with them completely, saying that the uh, situation has changed for the better. And therefore, uh, these quarantine measures need to no longer be applied. Philip, the British government, I mean, it's having to deal with uh, quite a lot of criticism, isn't it? The uh, handling of the epidemic for a start, the UK's infection rate, its decision to end the lockdown and the failure of its uh, track and trace <coughs> mobile phone app. Quite a lot for Boris Johnson to have to deal with. Well, if you look at Boris Johnson's opinion poll ratings, uh, a YouGov poll has uh, given him 39% approval rating, 43% uh, of people saying that they don't now agree with what he's doing. Uh, that's a fall of over 20 points uh, in the last few days. Uh, Boris Johnson seriously damaged by the uh, Dominic Cummings affair, Dominic Cummings, who went uh, breaking the uh, lockdown rules all the way to Durham from London to visit his family. Uh, many calls for him to be sacked. Dominic Cummings, uh, a key advisor to Boris Johnson, who is still uh, part of his advisory team, uh, Boris Johnson refusing those calls to sack him. And as you said, the, the failure of the track and trace system, which is still not up and running, despite many government uh, pledges that it would be up in the month of May. Uh, so uh, Boris Johnson coming under attack from all sides. Uh, and at the same time, as we were hearing in that report, Britain is still uh, the highest uh, rated country as far as the number of cases of uh, COVID-19 are concerned in Europe with over 40,000 deaths so far. So the government under a lot of criticism, Boris Johnson being accused of dithering and not making the right decisions at the right time, being too slow. And I think this uh, quarantine uh, these quarantine measures being introduced today are not going to do anything to improve uh, the vision that the government has mishandled this affair from start to finish. Philip, thanks very much. Philip Tell, my international affairs editor there.